Okay, so we're gonna go over your punches or your strikes for your white belt. Now, for tiny tigers and little dragons, we do it a little bit differently. You'll notice that there's three punches for tiny tigers and or for white belt. Uh, for tiny tigers and little dragons, we only do two of them. Um, for anybody ages eight and over, so if you're part of the youth class or the adult class, um, you're gonna do all three, okay? And I'm gonna to explain to you which ones you are or are not doing depending on your age. So, everybody will be doing what's known as chokosuki or centered punch, okay? So basically, my chest is centered, facing forward. And when I punch, I keep my arm close to my body and I punch, guess what, in the center, <laughs> okay? So one, two, three, four. And we typically say aim for the sternum. That's where they're punching. So a couple of tips, I keep my elbow pointed down the entire time. And when I turn my arm, only my wrist turns. My elbow doesn't turn. So now I could keep my armpit nice and tight and I could feel a connection throughout my entire body. If my elbow lifts up, there's a disconnect between my arm and my body. And so now my arm becomes independent and I don't want that. I want my arm to use my body. So from a side angle, Okay, now moving on to oisuki. Everybody is doing oisuki, okay? So all ages, oisuki. Oisuki translates to like a lunge punch, okay? So if you're in your kamai, your fighting stance, um, when you do oisuki, you literally just step up and punch. Punch, punch. So if I do it from a side angle, right here one two three a couple of pointers for that one so same thing as oisuki keep your elbow pointed down also keep your body straight keep your chest straight keep your belly button in the front the punch the power of the punch doesn't come from how hard can you swing your arm it actually comes from how well can you step so a lot of times we tell students okay hey, maintain connection dig your toes in the sand right that feeling of digging your toes in the sand where you really, really have to push your foot into the ground. It's that idea, but now you're moving and you're really sliding your foot into the mat and steps. So it's like this big push, okay? Now the last one is known as yakusuki or reverse punch. Your yakusuki will be done for the older students, ages eight and over. And the reason being is for coordination. Uh, a lot of times these type of motor skills aren't yet developed for students under the age of eight they have a hard time. But if they're a yellow belt, they will be practicing this. So if you're a tiny tiger or a little dragon and you're a white belt, you don't need to worry about it. If you're not a tiny tiger and you're not a little dragon, this is what you need to do. If you're a yellow belt or higher, you also need to do this. So really similar to the oisuki, the last one we just did, except it's with the opposite hand. So this one, my left leg is in front and my right hand is punching. And I step up, one, two, three. From the side angle, one, two, three. And that's it, super simple. 